Finally, Mr. Vice President, I'd like to get your response to a story that The Atlantic ran last night reporting that the president on multiple occasions disparaged fallen members of the military. The president himself and the White House on the record have vehemently denied this story, but there were two generals who were reported to have been president, present, uh, General Dunford and General Kelly. Would you support their speaking out to set the record straight? Well, well what I can tell you is I, I, I wasn't in Paris, but it never happened. I talked to the president that day. I know how disappointed President Trump was that there was a bad weather call that that uh, did not permit him to fly to uh, Bella Woods to, to honor our fall in there. And more importantly, Kayla, I, look, uh, I, I've been to Arlington Cemetery with this president. I've, I've been at his side at Dover Air Force Base with grieving families as we brought our fallen home. I've never been with anyone who cares more deeply about the men and women of our armed forces or respects them and their families than President Donald Trump. And our record really speaks for itself. You know, uh, under the last administration, Joe Biden was vice president. We saw our military hollowed out by budget cuts. We saw people literally dying in, on waiting lists to get into the VA, uh, uh, the VA beset by one scandal after another. From day one, this president has demonstrated his love and respect for our armed forces. We rebuild our military, record investments in our armed forces, and we reform the VA and end the, those decades of scandal. So I, I, re, I reject this out of hand as everyone uh, has spoken out on it. And, uh, and I think the American people see through this for what it is, just one more anonymous smear job with an election just a couple of months away. But our armed forces, like the two members of my immediate family, know uh, that they have a champion and an ally in President Donald Trump, and they have a commander in chief who deeply respects them and their families and our veterans. And if there were an opportunity for these two generals who were present with the president that day, are you confident that they would share that view that you just outlined quickly before we go? I, look, what, I, what I'm telling you, I spoke to the president that day, Kayla. Uh, I know why they canceled the trip to Bella Woods. Uh, I, to be honest with you, I just, I, I think the American people just roll their eyes at this, at these late hit anonymous source media coming from the Atlantic or, or anywhere else. It's just politics as usual. I mean, look at the record, look at this president, and I got to tell you, uh, to see, to see the way he has stood with families. Uh, at their at their worst moments at Dover Air Force Base, when we're bringing our fallen home, to have walked the grounds of Arlington Cemetery with me, I, I just want to tell you again: I don't need anybody to tell me. President Donald Trump loves and respects the members of our armed forces uh, like no one I have ever met, uh, and uh, and I, and I that's why I just, I reject this story out of hand, and I guarantee you, people across the country see it for what it is as well.